I want to talk to you about marquees. Now, I did a video a while ago, and I want to show you a problem with it before I go on to a possible solution that might work for you. So over here, I'm just going to drop in the HTML widget, like so, over here. And into here, I'm going to drop some code. Okay, you can see the code here. It's just got marquee direction left. It's then got a link, a href, all of that, okay? And I've put a link in with the word visit web squadron, blah, blah, blah. And I've put a color code in there. I could have, if I just make a copy of this, okay, like so. It's the bottom one I've just changed now just to be hello in there, okay? So we have this one here that has the uh, the hey href and all of that. Now you're looking at it thinking, hey, that's pretty cool. But there is a problem with this. If you start to add in lots of other text in there, as it scrolls along, there is a gap before it returns to number one. So let's say I make this quite long and convoluted, whatever. There's loads of text. There's a gap before it returns. You can almost see it happening here. Look, let me just make this into a box section. and Let's make it uh, 400, okay? Now watch what happens. It's going to disappear. And then it reappears. Now there's a gap. Can you see the gap? You might say, well, it's only because it's finished and then it starts again. But there's a gap. There's a big gap then. If you want it to be a continuous news ticking scroller, it's not the greatest solution. But there is a way we can get around that. So we're going to leave that up over here. And I'm just going to got another section down here. Now into this section, okay. In fact, what we'll do is let's just make this go to the top so we can see it a bit better. I'm going to use the testimonial carousel, okay. And at this point, you're probably going, what? What's he doing here? This is where we're going to use testimonials to put our content in. And then it's just going to continuously scroll across for us. The beauty about using this is if I go into uh, this one here, this testimonial, I'm going to get rid of John Doe, the CEO, and I'm going to get rid of the image. Over here, I can change the text to be uh, whatever I want, to be honest. I can even add in a hyperlink. I could drop in HTML. I could go over to templates, right? Create a template. It could be a small, big, whatever with images and links and anything I want. Don't forget, you can put anything you want in here and then drop the short code into here as well. So now rather than just having text, I could be mixing it up with whatever I want. I could even have a video playing. You know, I, I can be quite creative with this. So let's just say we're going to go with that one for now. I'm now just going to duplicate this uh, a few times. This is going to look really, really tragically boring now, isn't it? Because it's like, well, it's just the same word but you'll see the effect going on as well. Okay, I've just gone for seven. I'm then going to scroll down here and I'm going to make sure we have a default skin. The image is in line and I'm going to say that we are going to show five at any one time. Now, I'm not going to change slides to scroll or anything like that. I'm going to leave that as default. I'm going to go down to additional options and I'm going to just change this transition duration to be 5,000 and the autoplay speed, I'm actually going to set this to be zero like that. And then I'm just going to hit uh, update. In fact, I'm going to get rid of the pagination here. I'm going to have no pagination. Okay. No need for the arrows or anything like that. Now, right now that's not actually doing anything and don't be fooled by that. So if I just go to preview now, can you see what's going on there? It's moving. Now there is a problem. You'll notice the problem. It seems to stop and stutter. Can you see it? There's a stop and stutter effect going on there. Can you see it? You can't miss it. We're going to sort that out as well. Let's go back into our marquee. In fact, there's always one little thing I just need to do, though. I'm going to get rid of the spacing between the slides. That is zero. And I'm going to go back to my content. And I'm just going to make this section be a boxed width of about, uh, let's go with 900. Okay, 900 box width. You can do full width. You can do whatever you want. But we do have a stop and stutter effect going on there. You can't miss it. Go to advanced. Go down to custom CSS and drop this code in. This code, funnily enough, when I was creating this, that stop and stutter effect bothered me. And literally by chance, I went on to Google to do a search and Zoe from Elemental Community, this is a mention and a shout out to her. She'd already done something similar for images where she had like logo scrolling. So I got her code and stuck that in. So if I now just update that and we go back to our preview, don't worry about the fact that it's kind of um, kind of wrapped. It's because I've gone and done a 900 whatever I did for the, uh, the box width. But we now have a scrolling effect and there is no stop and stutter. It's a little bit slow. You want it to be quicker? Okay, let's make it quicker. Let's go back over here. Let's go to the, uh, well, let's click the testimonial carousel. Go down to additional options 
And let's now say the transition speed is a, let's just go for two and a half. And that's now going a little bit quicker. And the great thing about using the testimonial carousel is, you know, you have the bit where you like, you can, I mean, you can even do this if you want. You can even have a link in here. And if you have a link, it will click. Believe me, that link will click. You could have a button in there. So you could have stuff coming across and then a button appears. Hey, click now or whatever. Um, images, you could have whatever you want. And that is why the testimonial carousel, the continuous looping effect of that is so much better than what we had up here. Just to remind you, here's the settings for the additional options. They were the style. You could style it, of course. You know, you want to do a background color, whatever else you want to do. You can be my guest on that. You go to content. These are the settings, right? So look, I did it for five slides. You could do it for four slides. I mean, look, let's just go for seven slides. Let's just make it really ridiculously stupid now, okay? But additional options as well. You know, look at that. And when we see what it looks like, that's looking okay. Let's just change this to be uh, 500. The faster you make it, the m there is a little bit. You can there's, there's a tiny little jump. You'll notice it. And I don't think you want to get down to 500. But this is, I think, super, super good and easy to do. Hey, I hope you like, subscribe, share, and follow. The code will be in the description so you can go and get it. I hope this helps you out. Take care and I'll see you soon.